Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft World War II build tutorial. Today we're going to be doing the Turan 2 medium tank. This is going to go with the Turan 1 and also the Turan 3 once I get to recording that. But the Turan 2 is just a upgunned version of the Turan 1 with some additional armor in more common cases. Uh, the differences in this build compared to the Turan 1 are not all that drastic. I did change the paint job and the interior is literally the same. There's no real difference on the interior of the Turan 2 from the Turan 1, but uh, the exterior is substantially different. Anyway, no real explanations needed to really need to really be given. So we're just going to begin swiftly with this build. So we're going to do a polish in the site, stair with the back facing toward the front of the vehicle. And we're going to go six more to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to do that three spaces to the right. At the back, we're going to do up. We're going to do upright stairs with the backs facing toward the rear, and then at the top slab of stone brick at the back. At the front, we're going to do the same, just reverse the direction, <clears throat> just like this. Uh, let's see. We're going to do three spruce wood slabs across the top here. We're going to go back one. I have to actually snag this block. Uh, come on, there we go. Polished blackstone slab. That's going to go in these two spaces. That's going to be for the driver and the passenger machine gunner spaces. And just keep taking the spruce wood slabs back till here. Do spruce trap doors there and spruce trap doors here. Then we need our item frame. Take the item frame and we're going to do one item frame on each stair from the front all the way to the back and then do a smooth stone block in it and turn it once in each one. Do it on the other side just like this. Beautiful. And with that done, we can move on to layer two. So we're going to start layer two by doing the, I guess we'll do the tracks, the inside underneath the, well, in German it would be called, in German it would be called Schutzen, but I don't know what the Hungarians called it. Uh, but it's under, the sides are pretty much the same on the Turan 2 as they are on the Turan 1. So we're going to start at the front of the tracks here by curving the tracks upward. If I can just sneak into here, grab the sprocket wheel. So we're going to do placeholders here and here. Take gray shulker box, place them here with the bottoms facing outward. Then we're going to take some spruce stairs, place it here, then turn it, bring it across, turn it like that. It should hook around like that. And then in the center, do a stone brick stair as a spare track link. Take spruce trap door, throw it here one here and close them and then what we're going to do for the inside of the tracks stone brick slab here and here at the rear we're going to do I think we're gonna be doing dark oak so we're gonna do a dark oak which is there here and here in the front we're gonna do it upside down dark oak then if I can just lift up the armor here so it's gonna be one slab and then dark oak. So we're going to do dark oak with slab, and then upside down dark oak with stair. Another slab, another stair, and then repeat it one final time. And that's the tracks finished with the return rollers as well. Then what we shall do is take some brown terracotta, do three here at the rear, and then we're going to fill up the inside of the body of the Todan for now until we are ready to actually do the interior. At the rear, we will take some tripwire hooks, do one in either of these two spaces. Now something, a detail I actually missed on the Todan 2 over here that I did on the first Todan is you want to have item frames here and then a smooth stone block in those spaces. And then we need the dark oak wood fence gate, place it here, and open it inward. Then what we'll do is we'll take dark oak wood trap doors, and we'll take spruce trap doors, and we're going to start doing the side armor, the skirt armor, so two dark oak, just put these closer together, and then we're going to do 
three spruce, skip a space, <clears throat> two spruce, and then two dark oak. And we're just going to close all of these. And then we're going to repeat it one more time on this side. So two dark oak, three spruce, close them, skip a space, two spruce, two dark oak, close them. And that's the first level of the side armor. And then we can move on to, yeah, we can pretty much just move on to layer two now. So what we'll do is we'll start at the front of the vehicle. I'm going to need all of these. And how we'll start is we'll do spruce stairs here and here, then turn them to the back like this. We'll do spruce trap doors in these spaces. I'm going to have to actually uh, grab brown carpet and then put brown carpet on those two spaces. Gotta grab this back now, actually. Polished black stone stairs. We're gonna do an upside down stair in either of these two spaces with a spruce stair in the center. And then we're gonna do a polished black stone button here, item frame, and wither skeleton skull. In this item frame, we're going to do polished black stone slab, and then on the block, we're going to do a dark oak wood sign. Then, what we'll do is we'll take brown terracotta, go back three spaces, like this. Actually, uh, four spaces we can go back. And we're going to snatch right out of there brown shulker boxes. We're going to go back one, two brown shulker boxes on this side and on this side. We're then going to take our polished blackstone stairs. I think we start this here. Yeah, we do. So, two upside down blackstone stairs. <clears throat> One, two, then we're going to do an upside down spruce wood stair behind. Yeah, we do use spruce. And then another one on the other side. We're going to grab some blast furnaces. Do th uh, four here. Lift up the Acacia trapdoor. We're going to grab hoppers. Do two hoppers here. Grab spruce wood stairs and dark oak wood stairs. Pol All right, we already have that stuff. So we're going to do spruce, spruce, and then dark oak in the center. We're going to do polished blackstone slabs in either of these two spaces and off the back, but we're going to do a wither skeleton skull. That's going to make the exhausts. Uh, hang on. We're going to grab... Okay, so we actually don't use that, so we're going to just grab smooth sandstone stairs and a minecart with a chest, and then... Rail. We're going to place a rail here, make sure it's facing sideways, put a minecart with a chest, and the smooth sandstone, we're going to place one here, and then we're going to place another one here, turned, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Then we're going to take some dragon heads, and we're going to place the dragon heads right off of those tripwire hooks, just like that. <clears throat> then what we'll do is we will continue with the side armor. So I'll take our dark oak with trapdoors, do two here, close them. And we're going to do two more spruce trapdoors, close them, skip a space, one spruce, close it. Uh, we're going to do one dark oak, and then we're going to do a dark oak wood sign here, and that finishes off the side armor for that side, and then we're just going to mimic it again on this side. There we go. And now what we're going to do, because it's simple, we're going to quickly do the Hungarian armored marker, which we did with the Toran 1, we're also going to be doing it with the Toran 3. So we're going to take a black banner, we're going to need white dye, and we're going to need brown dye. So, with the black banner, and we're going to take the white dye, we're going to do a thick white bar across the center, we're going to do a thick white bar down the center, from top to bottom, and then we're going to take our brown dye, do a thick bottom bar at the bottom, one at the top, and then we're going to surround it in brown, and there we have our Hungarian armored marker, so we'll just throw it in these empty spaces. There we go. Historically accurate marker. Gotta love it. Get rid of those. <clears throat> and uh, I think with that we're done with layer 3. So we're going to move on to final layers now. So layer 4 and so on. So we'll start at the rear. We'll finish off the engine bay and everything. So grab all of this stuff. We're going to need the item frame back for this. So we'll head over. Place the item frame here. Iron shovel here. 
like that. Make sure it's facing toward the front. Not a necessary op uh, feature, but it's nice to have. Place spruce wood uh, pressure plates over top of the black stone. To two acacia trapdoors over the hoppers. And then we're going to start the construction of the turret. So, we're going to take our brown terracotta. Do one in the center at the back, then three, then three, then three more. Actually, we're going to not do that one in the center because that's where the mantlet starts and we'll do the gun now while we're at it so we'll take the polished blackstone brick wall place it in there in front of it do a dark oak wood fence gate and then in front of that do a wither skeleton skull there you go and then I'll do a wither skeleton skull off of this block that'll be the coaxial machine gun then we're going to take our spruce wood stairs do one here and then curve one in front of it this is the add-on armor <clears throat> to the Toran 2's turret, which the Toran 1 did not have. Fix that. Take a spruce trapdoor, place it here, close it on the turret. Same there. Going to take the spruce stairs, do one here, one here, and then off the back of the turret, we're going to do one more spruce trapdoor. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that does all the that's all the additional armor for the turret. I forgot to do this little bit of cargo here. So do smooth sandstone slabs in those two blocks there. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll just do the top of the well actually no, I didn't do the radio antenna, so off of this block here we'll go up one, two iron bars. That'll be the radio antenna. Then we need brown carpet, polished blackstone button, spruce trapdoor. Just grab all of this. <clears throat> So we'll do our spruce trapdoor here, daylight detector right behind it, we're just going to turn that to the blue kind, and then behind that polished blackstone slab, we're going to do pressure uh, spruce pressure plates on either side of the commander's hatch, and then brown carpet in those two spaces, and then polished blackstone button in those two spaces on the turret. Now we are missing just a little bit of detail now. So black stained glass pane. I must have missed that detail on the Turan 1. So, uh, which I thought... I must have missed that when I was loading it over because I don't build... I have a garage I build all my vehicles in just because I like building them in a garage. I don't build them here in the plot initially. So I have to copy paste them over here using my world edit mod. And item frames do not get... Uh, they don't get copied with the copy paste system so it, mm, you have to redo whatever details you do with item frames so I must have missed it so we're going to correct that so I'm just going to grab all of these details so now what we will do is we will do an item frame well, we'll do it here real quick to fix the Turan so do one there with a black stained glass pane and we'll do it on the copy as well and now what we'll do is for ours, do an item frame here, black stained glass pane, item frame here with a smooth stone. We're going to do an item frame here, we're going to do a polished black stone slab, and then on the block itself do a black stone button. And there you have all of your external details for the Turan 2. Now all that's left is doing the interior, so let's go. We're going to break in. Break down to the floor, break that out, break that out, break back one, break these blocks, break forward, break into there. Now I remember a fair bit of the details so I can do this off of memory. So polished black stone blocks here, one there. We're going to grab some netherite blocks. We're going to need polished black stone brick wall. We'll do the brick walls in these corners here at the bottom of the turret ring. Netherite in the center, down the center here. We're going to get a redstone comparator to a comparator here, please, if I can. There we go. Make sure it's placed back like that. Dark oak wood trap door. Place the trap door like that. Make sure it goes up because you'll, if you didn't watch the Turan 1 uh, tutorial, you'll see why. Grab the iron bars, put iron bars here. Place the iron, uh, place the dark oak trap doors. Make sure they're placed in these locations. Make like they're on the upper level of the block. 
because what this will do is when you're inside the vehicle you can get in when you get into the vehicle and you open this up it'll allow you to kind of crawl through the inside of the vehicle and explore a little bit take a spruce trap door come on spruce trap door place one there close it down the side one there close it down the side uh, we're gonna place trap doors off of those two stairs there going to grab a hopper place a hopper off of that block there grab a skeleton skull weather skeleton skull that'll make the gun breach we're going to take a tripwire hook place a tripwire hook off of that block over there then what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, what did I do on the inside here for this one all right, so it was spruce. So take a spruce sign with a target, and we're going to need an item frame. Yeah, it looks like I got pretty. I got pretty much everything correct. Unlike the Toran one, you can't get into the uh, Toran two, uh, like uh, just by opening the side hatch of the turret, because there is no side hatch to get into here. So uh, minor issue with this one. Anyway, spruce sign on this block item frame, and then in the item frame do a target, and that'll make your gunner sight. Sure, why not? And then we're going to do brown carpet off of the side of the daylight sensors again. And there you have the Turan 2 Hungarian medium tank. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, like I said in the Turan 1 video, and I'm saying it here too, I hope to have all three Turan tanks released either on the same day or within close proximity of each other. Maybe in three consecutive days in a row of Turan builds, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you all again in the future. If there's any builds you'd like to see, please leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond to it. Uh, check out the Discord, the Facebook, and the Twitter in the description. Come on down to the Discord. Hang out with me and the other guys of the community. I love getting to talk with you people. You can leave the... Uh, you know, build requests in that server as well, where I'm more likely to see the requests and not actually, like, miss them. Because sometimes I can lose track of the uh, requests from YouTube itself, but it's easier to keep track of the ones from the server. Anyway, all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope to see you all again in the future. Stay safe, stay loyal, and I'll catch you next time.